BrainGate uh, uh, is a uh, is an idea uh, that uh, came up from a, a group uh, out on the East Coast that is looking at um, what we call a, a, a brain uh, nerve interface. Uh, the idea behind the brain gate is to implant a small chip in the motor cortex of, of the brain that generates the signals for movement. Remember, a person who has a spinal cord injury, the brain and the function of the brain and the signals that the brain uh, creates um, should be intact. Nothing has happened to that. But the signals that are created to send signals to different muscles uh, to move or to contract uh, are blocked by the spinal cord injury. So the idea behind the, uh, the brain gate interface is to implant a chip that picks up the signals that are created to, let's say, move your hand uh, or control a mouse. And through complex, powerful computers, interpret those signals and to be able to put those signals, let's say, to a device that uh, a person may not physically be able to control, but perhaps a cursor on a computer screen, a controller device on, the, on a power wheelchair, be able to control that device. This type of work is very early on right now, um, although the uh, results that uh, groups have shown with this type of um, uh, device have been extremely promising. An individual who has a spinal cord injury is looking at a screen in front of them, and they can see the cursor. And they're imagining, thinking in their minds to move that cursor. Well, the brain gate chip picks up that signal that are generated in the motor cortex. And these signals are routed uh, through, uh, through a connection that's picked up by a device that goes to a computer, that connects to the computer, and moves the mouse. It's quite fascinating.